Okay, so hopefully you just watched the lecture on center of mass and finding the center of mass of a system of particles. Now we're going to do a practice problem. So I've drawn a little practice problem here. We've got two particles, and for this first one we're going to go the simplest case. Both particles have the same mass, 2 kilograms. Okay. Notice I've also placed the one of the particles on x equals 0. You can put your axes wherever you want, so you might as well place it so that something's zero. Usually when you do that, math becomes a lot easier. Okay, so I know, let's see if I find it here. Yeah, okay. I know that the position of the center of mass is equal to, well, the mass of the first one times the position of the first one plus the mass of the second one times the position of the second one, divided by all the mass, okay? Well, notice since the masses are the same, basically I don't really need an M1 and an M2, I could just say M, okay? So I'm just gonna get rid of the uh, this stuff, okay? And M is two kilograms. Well, look what happened. This is kind of weird. I've got, um, an M in both terms on top, so I can pull it out. So pull the M out to the front, and I get X1 plus X2 here. And notice on the bottom, I just have 2M. So the M's go away. And what I get is X1 plus X2 just divided by 2. That's why the center of mass is between two objects if the masses are the same. I just take the average of their positions. So in this case, it'd be 0 zero plus three and then divided by two the center of mass coordinate would be 1.5 and I'm assuming meters I probably should have said that there we go okay notice that is right between I don't know why I just did that X marks the spot that doesn't make any sense purple center of mass is purple there we go um, that's why the center of mass is right between them okay Let's do a little bit more difficult problem. Let's change one of these to a different, oops, here we go, different number. So they're not the same mass. And then we can't do that nice little math trick anymore. Ooh, um, I don't know, five? Totally just making up numbers now. Okay, so in this case, different color. How about orange? No, yes, orange. Okay, in this case, same equation. You, you know, whoops, center, position of the center of mass equals the mass of the first one whoop, times the position of the first one plus the mass of the second one times the position of the second one divided by all the mass. Okay. Well, five times zero is, everybody, zero okay plus two times three is six five plus two is seven and i get that the position of the center of mass is six sevenths of a meter okay by the way that's a perfectly acceptable answer um you can turn that into a decimal if you so wish okay in that case it would be a really really long number um, so 0.857142, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I only gave, uh, gave, I only gave like one sig fig here. Uh, I don't want to just do one though. I'm going to round to two sig figs. Completely ignoring the rules. Okay. So in that case, the, um, center of mass would be more like, uh, here. Which makes sense because there's more weight, five on this side. So the weighted average um, would shift the center of mass toward the heavier end of this line. Okay. Now if you have three particles, you just keep going. Okay. If I had another particle, I don't know, how about here at two and it has a mass of um, uh, one. Okay. You just would have kept going over here. So the mass of the first one times the position of the first one plus the mass of the second one times the position of the second one plus the mass of the third one 
times the position of the third one, and then the, the total mass is the mass of the first one plus the mass of the second plus the mass of the third, okay? You just keep going. You just keep going until you run out of particles. And when you run out of particles, you stop, and you put it in your calculator, and you're good, and you're done. By the way, putting this uh, one in here should, should shift the center of mass back that way because I'm adding more mass over there. So let's just go ahead and check that. Um, I'd have 0 plus 6. Ooh, come on, wake up. 0 plus 6 plus 2. And then it'd be over 8 instead. I get 8 over 8. 1. So in fact, that does. It would shift it from here to there. Just a little shift. Okay. Granny shift. That's shifting slowly, isn't it? Not really, just a little bit. Never mind. Stupid analogy.